The views and opinions expressed by the host do not reflect that of the store and its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions expressed by the guests do not reflect that of the host, the show, the store, and the network. Today with Boy Abunda. It is important to conduct an interview to a teacher to know about their background and experience they had in teaching. Let's find out the 21st century skills of a teacher and which now they are engaged in. At the end of this activity, the field study student must be able to achieve the following intended learning outcomes. First, identify the social roles and functions of a teacher to promote harmonious relationships with learners, parents, schools, and the wider community. Second, understand and appreciate the importance of school community partnerships in the educative process. And lastly, recognize the importance of teachers assuming responsibility for personal growth and professional development for lifelong learning. Hello, Kapamilya! Today, we prepared something very special. We have a special guest from Pangasinan State University, Bayamban Campus, and they are a field study students taking Bachelor of Physical Education. Welcome to Today with Boya Bunda! To our first guest, for observation report, let's have Mr. Cholo Damasco. Thank you for inviting me here in your show as your guest tonight. Just relax because I prepared some questions for you based on the interview result and data gathered from the teacher you interviewed. Well, I guess you are much prepared. Let's start. For my first question, what is the personal and professional attributes of the teacher you interviewed? According to Mr. Ronald Mendoza, he wants to finish all the tasks given to him immediately. He is a very passionate and workaholic teacher from Pangasinan State University, Bayambang Campus. He always embodied the qualities of a good teacher. So, I have here the three examples given by Mr. Mendoza about his professional attributes. The first one, giving consideration to identify the student situation. The second one, give importance of efficiency, submission of the output. Lastly, good role model. For my next question, did the teacher receive some awards? He is the representative and sixth place during the university-wide search in PASO, regional and national. He is also technical committee during the certification program compliance under the BPED program. He is also part of BQA Level 3 Achiever. Did the teacher conduct some researches? Here are the research conducted by Mr. Ronan Mendoza. During his college days, research in professional education and research specialization. Then, compliance of PSU in offering Bachelor of Culture in Arts Education program for his partial fulfillment for his Master of Arts in Educational degree. I wish I can do some research too. Well, how about some extension activities? Here are the extension activities by Mr. Ronan Mendoza. He conducts extension program in Tanulong to play and to teach Rondalia instrument during college days. PSU LGU ICT Connect project, a technical committee who is in charge during documentation. Can you please give at least five roles and functions of a teacher? Describe how they are done. Here are the five roles and functions of a teacher. Fair and unbiased teaching, equality, role model, social education, and social policy school. It is a teacher obligation to establish supportive and welcoming learning environment for all the students as well as to recognize and respect the position of power. 
a teacher's social responsibility necessitates that he or she not only care about these students, but also must understand his or her place in the community. At this moment, let's talk about research and extension involvement. Um, how do teachers conduct their action research work? Based from the professional qualification of a master teacher, every year there should be an action research conducted. I conducted my study in my school wherein my respondents are selected grade 10 students. Describe the extension project that the teacher was involved. He conducted an extension program in Tanulong during his college days, where they taught and played Rondalia instrument. He is also a member of technical committee for the PSU LGU ICT Connect, and he is in charge of documentation for the said extension project or program. This PSU project is extremely beneficial to both teacher and students. All welcome our next guest. She is also a Bachelor of Physical Education student at Pangasinan State University Bayamban Campus, Miss Alia Elevazo. Wow, you look amazing today, Miss Alia Elevazo. From what I see, it seems that you are very ready to answer my questions. Am I right? Well, I'm doing great, Tito Boy. By the way, thank you for having me on your show. It's such a pleasure. For your first question, Miss Alia, does school community engagement influence the educative process? Yes, the educational process is influenced by school community engagement. According to a recent policy brief from the National Education Association, when schools, parents, families, and communities work together to support learning, students tend to earn higher grades, attend school more regularly, stay in school longer, and enroll in higher level programs. As a result, school community engagement helps induce curiosity in the students. How would you report achievement or result to a bigger community? Well, Tito Boy, by simply informing the people on how we made it and what strategies and decisions we made to achieve those kind of achievements, the bigger community will get informed and of course they will also um, recognize us. This only means that school community engagement is indeed a key. How do personal and professional skills of a teacher help in preparing his or her function? The personal and professional skills of a teacher helps in preparing his or her task by making them more efficient and become better at planning, managing, and organizing. They can also accomplish their task and perform their own actions effectively by simply applying the necessary skills of a professional teacher. To share with us his reflection on the activity, let's welcome our last guest, the smart and fresh, Mr. Dennis Caranto. How are you, Mr. Caranto? You look very fresh today. Well, I'm doing great, Tito Boy, and by the way, thank you for having me here. Nice to hear that, that you are okay, Mr. Caranto. Let's proceed to your question. As a future teacher, how would you establish good school community collaboration? How can you work well in the community? Inside the classrooms and facilities, as a future educators, we need to work hard to foster a sense of community. A positive classroom culture that begins on the first day sets the tone for the rest of the year. As a future educators, we play a vital role in broadening our school's vision to encompass the entire community. Do you have any advice about how to invite stakeholders to engage in school community projects or activities? 
as a future educators are advised on how to invite stakeholders to engage in school community projects or activities is by presenting them the concrete plans and telling them the benefits that they can acquire in doing so and another thing is promoting activities that caters the prospect participants will surely help. Maybe I can encourage and invite them to engage in school community activities. In the future, how will you enhance your personal and professional development? Self-improvement can help us develop in our career and achieve professional goals. For example, to increase your chances of promotion, you could take a certification course in your profession. We can learn skills outside of traditional educational and occupational settings by taking actions to improve ourselves. Having a well-developed hard and soft skills can aid us in a variety of workplace settings. For the part 2 interview, let me introduce to you our next guest. He graduated college degree at Malasiki Agno Valley College. He is a licensed professional teacher. He graduated Master in Education, Major in Educational Leadership at Finma University of Pangasinan. He is a former teacher at St. John Cathedral School, Dagupan, Pangasinan, and also a former teacher at Mary Help Christians Catholic School, Basista, Pangasinan. And now, he is currently working at Hermini Hill Dujay at Chenza Elementary School, a grade 6 advisor. Let us all welcome Sir Janus Liv L. Fernandez. What are your personal attributes? Okay, so for my personal attribute as an educator is being honest. Okay, as a follower of Jesus Christ, being true and sincere means following the footstep of our master teacher, doing what is right and just. Second is having a good sense of humor, okay? So for me, teaching will become easy if you have that attribute. And having sense of humor will escape us or escape us from vault pressure of work. And lastly, being dependable so that our co-teachers or co-workers can count on us. What are your professional attributes? Okay, for my professional attributes, so for me, I always believe that learning is a continuous process. Therefore, the most important professional attributes for me is having the willingness to learn. Okay, why? Because in the field of education, you will become a true professional if you are always open to learn more and advance the skill that we have, and especially always looking on the bright side of life. The list of awards received. Okay, the list of awards that I received. Okay. The rewards I received or achieved during my college days are Student Teacher Award and Governor's Leadership Award. And with the grace and guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ, I graduated my master's degree this year. List of researches conducted. I have only one action research. Okay, so it is entitled Improving the Vocabulary Level of the Grade 6 Pupils in English through Semantic Map Strategy. List of extension activities. Extension activities. So I've conducted an extension activities in Hermine Gildo J. Achenza Elementary School during the implementation stage of my action research where I use the semantic map strategy in teaching vocabulary words to the grade 6 pupils. It here ends our show. Many thanks to our guests for giving their time and effort to share their gathered data and results of their interview with our great teachers. I hope we learned a lot from them. Let's bear in our mind that teachers are very important in the society. They give children purpose and set them for success as citizens of our world and inspire them a drive to do well and succeed in life. Until next time, and this is Today with Boya Bunda. <laughs>
I have awards received in the field of pageantry, um, having the opportunity to represent the campus during the university-wide search, 